this video I'm gonna show you how to fix FPS drops. Also, this video is cut into timestamps that you can more easily find the solution to your problem. So the first thing when something's wrong with Fortnite, what you want to do is go to Epic Games, find Fortnite, hit the three dots, press on manage, and verify the game. Most of the time when you verify your game, it just fixes itself, so before doing anything, please just verify your game. Okay, so people face with a lot of problems when it comes to FPS drops. Most of the times the problem is that you're not using your power settings correctly. So go to Windows Search, write Power Plan. Here we go, edit Power Plan. Now you want to go to power options right here and I do recommend that you would get ultimate performance. If you don't know how to get it, all you gotta do again is go to windows search, write CMD which means command prompt and run it as an administrator. Now I recommend that you would google ultimate performance CMD cause sometimes these settings do change. But all you want to do is just copy these settings. If you want to use the same ones that I use, I'll leave them in the description. So all you gotta do is just press Control V and press Enter. That's it. And if that didn't work, what we're gonna do is just change our graphics settings. So if your PC or laptop has integrated graphics, it won't work. So what we have to do is go to Windows Search, write Graphics Settings. Now make sure this says Desktop App and press Browse. Now you wanna find the folder with Fortnite. For me, is the D drive and I have it named Fortnite. Now go to Fortnite game, binaries, win64, find Fortnite client, win64, shipping.exe and press add. Usually this fixes all the issues and makes you get way more FPS. Another thing that usually helps you fix your FPS drop is cleaning your storage, especially if it's almost out of space like mine. So for this, we're gonna download a tool called CCleaner. All you gotta do is just google it and press download ccleaner by the way i will have this link in the description so feel free to go there okay and what you want to do now is press download free now you just want to put the exe where you want to i create a separate folder for this because that's how i like to do it and you want to double tap it and run it now it's downloading now you can customize it how you want to i prefer not to have it on my desktop and afterwards press install now you just want to run ccleaner now if you see this message press continue i don't have chrome and i don't intend to use it so i'm gonna decline and press start ccleaner by the way i do recommend that you would go on the upgrade tab and buy yourself the full license it has a lot of features that you do need for example driver upgrader which is really useful which really helped me with a lot of fps issues i'm not sponsored by them but it's just a really good program anyway i'm gonna continue with the free features because they already used the 30-day trial so first of all you want to go on the health check and press scan pc as you can see, it's scanning my PC. Now, after it scans your PC, press make it better. And it's going to fix a few issues with your PC. Then go to custom clean and just press run cleaner. Press continue. And after that, just press run cleaner. Press continue again. And that's it. And if you want to uninstall CCleaner, what you want to do is find apps and features and write CCleaner and just uninstall it. As you can see, my storage looks a bit better. Another tip that I can give you is delete all temporary files. You usually just don't need them. So go percent temp percent and open it and press control A and delete everything. If you ever see these three options, all you gotta do is just press skip. That's it. I hope I was able to help you in this video, and if you want to support me, please use code not Stelux. It really helps a lot. Have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.